Lord Pearson of Rannoch. Uh, my Lords, I beg you to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. My Lords, the government funded Centre of Expertise on Child Sexual Abuse is working to build a more informed picture of the scale of these crimes and preventing them as a priority for the government. The Independent Office for Police Conduct is currently conducting investigations into 33 police officers of varying ranks for potential criminal offences and breaches of the standards of professional behaviour linked to the Rotherham case. My Lords, I fear that reply is shamefully inadequate because these girls are usually raped several times a day. And so if we accept the views of our lead police officer for child protection, of Rotherham's MP, and of the recent Jay and Quilliam reports, we seem to be looking at millions of rapes of white and Sikh girls by Muslim men, only 222 of whom have been convicted since 2005. So, my lords, will the government ask our Muslim leaders whether the perpetrators can claim that their behaviour is sanctioned in the Quran and to issue a fatwa against it? And second, my lords, will the government encourage a national debate about the various interpretations of Islam? Can we talk about Islam without being accused of hate crime? My lords, Child sexual exploitation is a vile crime and it is not exclusive to any one community or culture or race or religion. Political sensitivities or cultural sensitivities should not get into the way of tracking down offenders and preventing future abuse. Can I say to noble lords that I think we should be careful about our language on this matter because I'm not least because I'm about to repeat a statement about inflammatory letters inciting a punish a Muslim day on April the 3rd. And so I think we need to be careful how we approach this. On the Quran, there's nothing in the Quran that uh, encourages the sort of activity that the noble lord has referred to. Uh, in any case, the Quran would be trumped by the law of the land. Islam, like all world religions, neither supports nor advocates nor condones child sexual exploitation Indeed, respect for women is inherent in its faith. And as my noble friend, Lord Ahmed of Wimbledon, has just told me, one of the, one of the uh, phrases is, paradise lies at the feet of the mother. So far as um, encouraging a debate on Islam is concerned, the government is uh, supporting an initiative by British-based Islam leaders of all denominations to dispel the poisonous interpretations of Islam that are peddled by Al-Qaeda and Daesh. And we're taking a number of other initiatives in order to minimize the exposure of children to sexual abuse from whatever source. Yeah. Lords, I, my lords, I believe that many people would be grateful to the minister for clarifying that particular point. But is there not a contradiction in our own society when we feel and I, I asked questions about uh, a questionnaire that was sent out at Brighton and Hove Council asking, for the, asking children as young as six and seven year old or their parents for uh, their gender perception. If in fact we are allowing this type of information to be collected, then what for, for what purpose? In order to condition people as they grow up and, and will the minister look at our uh, so-called liberalism that enables uh, the, this to happen and prevents the police from getting on from their duty. My Lords, uh, that goes slightly wider than the specific question. <laughs> Um, I, I'm, I'm aware of the debate that is taking place about transgender issues and the whole debate about at what age and if at all children should be allowed to express their own sexual preference. I have to say, my lords, this is not a subject on which I'm an expert. I am very cautious about entering into it, but I would certainly draw the attention of what the noble lord has just said to relevant ministers at the DFE. My lords. My lords, I'm 
enormously grateful for the Minister's answer to the substantive question. Uh, I had the great privilege to be the Bishop of Sheffield uh, for seven years during the uh, child sexual exploitation scandals in Rotherham, and am now the Bishop of Oxford. Uh, I spent a great deal of time in Rotherham uh, following Professor Jay's report and registered the shock across all sections of the community, including, of course, the Muslim community in Rotherham, who were as deeply appalled at what has happened uh, as the rest of the community. I remember vividly uh, visiting uh, some parents in a mosque in Rotherham and hearing the way their children were insulted by the rest of the community in words I will not repeat in this House. Uh, would the Minister uh, affirm the condemnation with which these scandals are greeted across the Muslim communities in each of these towns and cities? Uh, th there is only one word which I can say to the Right Reverend Prelate, and that is Amen. <laughs> Lords, can I declare my interest? The experience of these uh, young girls is not uh, to be used to encourage religious intolerance, but it is still extremely serious. And yet again this week there have been calls for a proper investigation into what has happened in Telford by the local MP, a Conservative, and by Sarah Champion, who has of course championed the victims in other parts of Northern England. I uh, would like, like an answer from the Government as to why an investigation is not to be launched into Telford. This seems to be an extreme case of these extreme violent acts against these young girls. I have <clears throat> read the reports of uh, what has happened in Telford, uh, disgraceful cases that took place I think between 2007 and 2009 and the case called Operation Chalice concluded in 2012 uh, with a number of uh, uh, convictions. Uh, since then, I understand that both the police and children's services have improved the service that they operate. But it is an option which is open uh, on this particular case for the independent inquiry into child sexual abuse chaired by Alexis J. Uh, to look at what happened in uh, Telford and to look at the institutional responses to the child sexual exploitation that took place in that borough. Lord Haskell. Lord, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper.